and, and also, and I'm going to touch on him when I say this. You're not special. Pink sauce? More like stink sauce, am I right? Hey, pink sauce, August here. Which one of those intros do you guys like more? I like them both, so I think I'm gonna keep them both. That's right, it's a double intro kind of day, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you spend a fraction of the amount of time that I spend on this website, then I'm sure at some point you have seen the recent videos about Chef Pie, you know, the pink sauce lady, and her recent appearance on a talk show. I kept seeing these videos everywhere, so I figured I'd go and watch the talk show, you know, see what all the hubbub's about. Out. And oh my god, it's bad. Now really quick, if you don't know who the pink lady is, in a very short version, she's a lady on TikTok who made basically pink mayonnaise, didn't go through any FDA testing, didn't prepare it nor ship it in the way that food is supposed to be, and made a bunch of people sick. There's more to it than that, but that's the gist. And recently she went on the Caramo show, you'd think, to try and apologize and maybe make a statement about how she's trying to make this better, but instead she chose to attack the people who bought the sauce and got sick, and say that it is somehow the consumer's fault. Now the first half of this video is copyright blocked in every country, so we're just gonna be watching the latter half where she actually attacks a person who made a review of the pink sauce. You can go watch the first half on YouTube, but it's literally just her saying how none of it's her fault, how this is just one big internet schmear campaign and everyone is just trying to hate on an entrepreneur. Nothing about how she sent out spoiled sauce to paying customers. But if you wanna see that, just search up the Caramo Show on YouTube. But now it's time to see what she has to say to this reviewer. Let's begin. Please subscribe. So here's my bottle. I'm just a little worried about it being swollen. And I don't know if this is considered swollen or not. Check the seal. Everything's good on that. It is um, like sweet ranch. The aftertaste, I'm not messing with. It's like watered down ranch. It's not bad. Definitely not worth twenty dollars a bottle. Wow, actually, you know what? I want to apologize. I take back what I said previously. This does seem like a hateful and spiteful review. Definitely not just somebody saying that recolored ranch is not worth as much as a meal in a restaurant. No, this is somebody who's trying to tear others down. But we support small businesses. I don't know if she's fixing things or not. That's not my problem. Today, when I went to go open it, something is not right. The smell that's coming out of this bottle, something is wrong, it's rotten. So I pulled out the bottle and I opened it up and I had to stick my finger inside of it, but there is a piece of glitter. I know you guys haven't seen the part of the video where Chef Pie responds to this review yet, but uh, I have. I just don't see how you can watch this and interpret it as somebody trying to be hateful. This is very clearly a pretty unbiased review and somebody just reviewing a product for what it is. If I found glitter in a packaged food product that I bought, I would be suing. Is it edible glitter? Am I going to die? Is it safe? I would be so interested to sending this to a food safety um, testing lab. And I think it's like $300. I'm willing to send this to be tested. All right, everyone, please welcome Allie to the show. Hi. What about somebody trying to make sure that what they're eating is safe is worthy of a head shake? Seems like an overwhelmingly reasonable thing to do. Not sure why this would be frowned upon. How are you gonna have a hug? Nice to meet you, take a seat. All right, so this is the first time you two have ever met each other, right? Correct. Okay then, and you're both influencers obviously on TikTok. Now, before we go any further, I do have to ask this, Allie, because my producers did tell me that the reason that we had to separate the couches is because you didn't feel comfortable in sitting next to Chef Pete. Yeah, Why is I just, that? I feel like I haven't met her yet, and just kind of the last line of her saying that I harassed her just didn't make me, un made me uncomfortable because I never set out to harass anybody. If reviewing a poor product truthfully is harassment, I think that every person on the planet would have to go to prison. If you can't stand behind your product and take a negative review, and you call it harassment, then you probably know that it's bad. And I think okay. that's like a little bit delusional to say something like that. So tell me from your perspective, she says that she says that she didn't harass you. I think it's delusional to send a sample to a laboratory after you stuck your finger in it. Wow, that would be an awesome comeback if that was in any way, shape, or form how that worked. Yeah, ideally you wouldn't stick your finger in a food being tested, but they are able to differentiate what they're detecting. If your sauce is already in the decomposition process from shipment, then a finger is not going to skew the results that badly. 
Okay, so let's talk about this because we don't have these details and I need to know this. So when you taste the chef piece sauce, you did the viral video, which yep. everyone does those. People did their taste test, yep. but you then went further. Yep. Tell me what you then did. So I saw it and I was like, wow, this is such a cool sauce. It's bright pink, like. Yeah, I guess we differentiate there. No big deal. We all have our differences. Personally, when I see something bright pink and liquidy in a bottle, I'm thinking Pepto-Bismol, not a topping for my food. I'm a sauce girl. So when I was doing the review, there was just so many red flags that I saw in it. Like the label, you know, when you make a USDA label, you have to put in batch numbers because if something were to be recalled, you have to be able to trace it down to the salt and pepper that is in something. And so if something- oh, wait, not to cut, not to cut you off, but to cut you off. Ah, uh, yes, you are making a good point about how I would literally never be able to track down these sauces if something were to be wrong with the ingredients. So instead of acknowledging that and moving forward and actually being able to, you know, continue my business one day, I'm just going to attack you and cut you off. I mean, this is not a good look for any sort of business. This girl is just saying the most basic, the most basic rules of selling food, and it's too much. So you didn't see the video because you follow me, right? Well, I want to hear Ali. I'm yeah, give absolutely. You, a you had your time to okay. talk, so just let me have mine. Um, so I understand, like, if it does have dairy in it... Well, we don't really know what's in it. Once again, if you know nothing about this whole situation, the nutrition label on the pink sauce was completely made up. Like, the servings per bottle were angel numbers. The ingredients were most certainly not legit. So who knows? It might have dairy in it. It's one of the mysteries of the 21st century. You see all these concerns. You saw my TikTok. I follow you. You have my address, my phone number, my email. If once I posted my original video, if you wanted to make things right as a business owner when you create a product that's your pride and joy you send it off to someone they don't like it you're like oh my gosh like that's my pride and so joy let me fix it weren't contacted by no Chef and, and the thing is if you knew I had a problem with it you could have contacted me and I could have turned around and I'm not a hateful person I could have been like wow Chef P contacted so me. so you're saying that you contacted me no I'm saying you I didn't never contacted received... me okay but why would I contact someone who's fabricating something on the but internet Nothing you're, was fabricated. To be honest, you're not special. Based off the review, saying that your sauce sucked does not seem does not seem fabricated. I mean, my god, that is a bold statement to say that she's not special. Not only did she buy your product and now you're saying this, once again, not the greatest impression, not really what you want to hear from a business owner referring to their customers, but also you are taking time out of your life going onto a TV show to combat this woman, so clearly she means something to you, otherwise you wouldn't have spent your time doing this. You're not special, okay. okay? So why should I lose my mind and approach you directly when you're fabricating something on the internet? Well, so I, will, I will say this, because I want to hear both of your sides. I will say this, as Chef P, as a businesswoman, no matter what someone reviews your products, unfortunately, everyone is special to you because that's gonna be your business. Why would that be unfortunate? It's unfortunate that a business should care about their customers? What a weird stance. I could have, you know, taken down the video and done my testing and kept it to myself, which I did. No, you could have reached out to me like, hey girl, you know what? I see what you're doing, it's amazing and all. I'm a supporter, but I think you should look into this. Take this step. Did you research this? Did you check out your packaging there? The fact that this gets applause is actually insane to me. If you need a third party who is not affiliated with your business whatsoever, and is in fact a customer, to reach out to you and say, hey, did you go through any of the necessary steps required to start selling a food product? You are beyond proving that you should not have been selling anything to begin with. Versus trying to tear down my business and my livelihood. You I, could have contacted me directly, can, just can you, like- Can you receive I, that? I, yeah, and you I- You keep saying that I should have reached out to you, but in, and also, and I'm gonna touch your hand when I say this. When I said that you're not special, I meant that okay. as you're not special as far as someone trying 
to hurt me. Nobody's trying to hurt you, Chef Pie. People are genuinely concerned that you are selling a sauce that is not safe for consumption. And the fact that you just said that it's other people's responsibility to reach out to you and tell you that you need to research how to sell a food product kind of validates everybody's concerns. I think this is a moment of reflection. Absolutely, and I think it's a mo moment of learning on both parts. I think the learning is more on your part. Yes. Okay. And that's being real. All right, I'm done watching the video here. I'm sorry. This is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard a human being say. No, a person saying that a business owner sent out a spoiled sauce that tastes gross is not more in the wrong than a person who profited off selling sauce that was not safe for human consumption and then played the victim when they got called out for it. That's genuinely infuriating that not only a person said this, but a whole audience applauded for it. Well, guys, this video was absolutely terrible. I'd have to hope that that both the audience and the talk show host were not fully informed on the situation because there's absolutely no way that a rational human being would come to the conclusions that were made in this video. I just don't get it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.